Hey guys, Molly here. I've got a design for you that I'm gonna be sharing how I put it together and what I use, that sort of thing. So some insider tips if you're working on putting a room together. Stay tuned for more. All right, you guys, so over the years, I've used a lot of different software and programs to design for interior spaces. And I am gonna share soon what I like best for that, but I'm gonna first tell you kind of like why I think this matters. I think when you are putting together a room, obviously there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of things have to go together. And sometimes I shortcut this process. I've probably told you guys this before because I can be lazy on occasion. And I just am like, oh, that'll go, that'll go. You know, like I just kind of throw stuff together. I definitely work like that sometimes because it's kind of a creative mindset where it's not very organized. But Ben, my husband is a planner. And so he definitely has rubbed off on me some. And I do a little more planning now than I used to. And I do feel like the rooms that I make a design board for definitely do come together more easily. So I think that this is a great idea if you are creating a space, even a, you know, a bedroom or, or you know, if you're doing a whole home, um, you kind of like there to be some cohesiveness between the spaces. So design boards are a good way to do that. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, this is what I share most of the time is this kind of content. Products that I love in my Instagram stories as well as like how to use them, how to style them, design inspiration, kind of putting it together in a design board like this. So these are ones you can shop through the LTK app or over on my Instagram. I'll also link it for you guys here, of course. But just so you know, the links are always available in the LTK. LTK posts as well. That sounds for like to know it. And it just allows you to link multiple products from a space in one location, which is nice. And this bedroom that we're sharing today, I love it. It's just one I put together quickly the other day because the nightstands that I know if you guys are also Instagram followers, you might have gotten these. It was like record breaking <laughs> the amount of sales for these uh, nightstands. Everybody loves them because they are actually a dupe of the Serena and Lily one that is like $1,300 and this one was like $129. So it was literally like a tenth of the cost, which is wild. I ordered them myself, so I'm excited to use them in the flip house. Anyway, so I did a design board because of those nice hands. They did sell out, but they might be back, so I will be watching for them. And this room, I really wanted to create something that had a more mellow color palette, but it had kind of like the organic feel, modern neutral is what I called it, because it still has some warmth to it. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the style warm modern, but that is kind of what it is, the warm wood tones with the modern edge and then a little, still a little pop of the black to keep it kind of, you know, crisp. In this one, I used one of my favorite beds. This is one I actually, I've had many people use it that are both followers and like even clients, I think, but I haven't used it, but it's so beautiful. I need to use it in a project. Really simple, it's a wing back bed. So it's kind of got a classic style about it. And then it's available in multiple different fabrics. I just went with the um, white, what's the name of it? Um, the Zuma white. So it's really, it's really not a true white. It's more of like a, a linen type of color, but really, really beautiful and goes with just about everything. So this is a bed that I use in a ton of my designs and I will of course include the link for that. But this one I love because the upholstered goes well with wood tones with, um, these are like kind of like a raffia wrapped nightstand, which is cool. So they have their own kind of texture going on. And then that upholstered is like a nice juxtaposition because it is a soft fabric versus you know a more raw material like a raffia or a wood or rattan whatever it might be cane all those things go really well with an upholstered bed like I use the cane nightstands with an upholstered bed in my own room so definitely a favorite combination of mine and then I was able to bring in these really cool little ottomans they're like little cubes but they look like one that McGee and Co sells but they are at Marshall's for a steal I own those love them and they look really cute at the end of the bed so if you're looking for a little something and they're like 179 each so it can be more affordable than uh, a lot of the bench options can be and they are genuine leather they're so nice like the woven detail on them is beautiful um, and they're kind of an ivory warmer white tone so really also a good compliment for just about any space in this room I did a modern chandelier with the shades so it again is kind of that mix of modern and classic this one has a good price point as well I love too that it has you know with the black and white it just feels very clean and yet not like overly modern. So I do love that. The 
I put a few more accents on there. This dresser is a gorgeous one. This dresser is a splurge. I will say with dressers, they're one of the areas that I do splurge on. Usually it's seating. I'm gonna do a video on this soon, like what to splurge on, what to save on, but just as a to throw a couple out there. One of them is dressers. I don't like to cut corners on dressers because when you have drawers, they just need to function well, especially dressers are getting used pretty much daily. So it's just a piece to invest in, in my opinion. I'm loving this new one from Winobi Home. Really pretty curved edge detail and then just really minimal, clean, and then again, the warm wood tone to it. And then also like sectionals and, and sofas, I like to get those um, a little more of a splurge because anything that gets used on a daily basis and you interact with it more, like nightstands just don't get used as much, in my opinion, as a dresser. So I'll usually splurge on the dresser, save a little on the nightstands, that kind of thing. If your case is different, of course, pay attention to that, whatever you use most, that's what to splurge on. And then I also brought in, like you'll see kind of just those modern pops of black. This earthenware bowl from Target is another piece I own and I love it. It is even better in person than it looks online. And they also have some pots, um, like pretty good sized pots that are also in this earthenware collection. And they really do look authentic, like the authentic vintage vintage ones, even though they're, they're not, they're just Target. I think those are a good buy. And then that little sculptural piece, that matte black, that one is from Marshall's Find as well that I own. And it looks like one that Pottery Barn sells, but it is just way less at Marshall's. So that's another one that would be great to grab, great for styling. And you can see, I just kind of put it on the nightstand there. It's really cute, set atop a stack of books, things like that, or just like a shelf, an open shelf so that you have a little interest and detail on there and brings that pop of black to kind of ground things. I did a woven lamp in here. I just saw that these ones sold out. I'll keep an eye out for another woven lamp, but I love that. It's again, just another texture, um, a little bit richer tone too, because the nightstands are kind of like a, they're more like the wood tone, really pale, almost like a whitewashed oak, even though they're raffia. And so this one that is like the seagrass or rattan is a little bit richer tone, which I love and still brings in the texture. And then um, round wood mirror, another great buy. I love, I love round mirrors. Um, it just mixes up the shapes. You end up with a lot of rectangles and squares in design. And so anything round and curved, you know, softens things and brings that organic feel, which I adore. Really cute accents on the dresser, like these little set of vases. I think they're the Lizzie vases from Winobi Home. I have those as well. Another favorite of mine. Uh, they just look great. And, and again, kind of interesting and artsy feeling. The art piece that I put a little picture of, I just thought that'd be a really fun print. It's one of those that you can buy in different sizes and then frame it yourself. It has that high end look, vintage painting style. Um, it actually is a vintage painting, I believe like a reproduction of it or something. Love that kind of stuff. I'm really into like vintage art right now. So you'll probably notice that popping up in my designs. I like it because it's kind of, pla it feels kind of timeless and classic, even though it's old. <laughs> it brings a little bit of that age to the room so that it doesn't just feel like everything's straight off the target shelves. You know, I like to bring a little of that vintage element. And I think artwork is like the perfect place to do it, especially if you can get like an original, that's even better. I did a target rug in there. This one is one from the Studio McGee collection for Target and I I really like it. They have had rugs on sale off and on. So um, be watching for that. I try to share those, but this one's just super neutral. And so I thought it was a good compliment to the space and just has a little bit of pattern without being too much. This one's really confusing because the, <laughs> The reviews are hit and miss, but like in the picture that it showed, I thought it looked so pretty. So it's kind of more like grays and tan colors, but just kind of like gives you a little bit of, a little bit of design detail. What else do we have in this room? Oh, those woven baskets are amazing. The lidded woven baskets, Marshalls has those right now as well. They're three different sizes. They are perfect for like any corner, use them for like storing blankets, anything like that. Maybe extra throw pillows, whatever, just uh, kids toys, games, stuff that you want to just kind of have a place to throw it and then it still looks really cute and the lid covers it all so you don't have stuff hanging out. Major fan of those. So if you don't have those, I would highly recommend grabbing some. They just look great in virtually any any room, any space. So love those. And then I should pillows that were affordable. One's from Walmart and one is from Marshalls, I believe it is. Those add a little bit of interest to the bed. Still really neutral, kind of just did layers of neutrals in this space. But I think like for bedrooms, I really like it to be zen and not like have too much going on. So yeah, so this is just like one 
little idea for you for a bedroom space with some of my recent finds that I thought could be helpful for you. Like I was saying, I've used a ton of different software and right now what I am loving is Canva. If you guys have used Canva, it really is great. And I got the pro version where you can like easily remove backgrounds. It's like some amount per month, but it really is great. Like I can just whip these out pretty quickly from my phone. So there's my designer tip, get Canva if you are looking to put together a room. So anyway, it can just really help you putting the space together, planning for your home, anything like that. It really is worthwhile. And, and it's not like everything's gonna be perfectly to scale because you are adjusting the scale. Like some of the really intense software will get it exactly perfect. But again, it's just like way more time consuming. So this is like a quick way to do it and you can get a pretty good feel. I usually will look at measurements just so that I, I'm like, okay, that headboard's 60 inches and the head, this nightstand is 24 inches. So I can kind of like guess, you know, guesstimate and get it pretty close. So yeah, designer tip for you, get Canva. Hopefully this kind of gives you guys a little insight into how to put the, you know, put a space together and kind of plan for it as well as like how to use some of these favorite finds of mine that I've seen recently. And I will kind of keep sharing more of these. I like to do a lot around the new year because a lot of people are making plans for their home, like what you're gonna update and work on for the new year. So I'm gonna try and be getting more designs out, probably some living rooms and stuff like that as well. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and uh, subscribe, hit the bell. And what else? Leave us a comment. Let me know what you guys, what kind of spaces you guys are working on for the new year. If you guys have some 2022 goals, check me out on Instagram at Design Looks Detail. Also at our website, designlooksdetail.com, where we have a newsletter you guys can sign up for um, to get notified of like new blog posts. And I'm gonna be working on sending out, I'm hoping for 2022, I'll be able to send like a weekly roundup of deals that's in the, the works so that you kind of get a deal synopsis. Okay, that's it. I will see you next time.